This way? Works better with the Intimidate. Increases card Intimidate by very adjacent Crown Splitter. Just enough. Mage Torture. I know the truth. I simply want you to admit it. Either way, same thing, I guess. I might go offensive. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh my goodness. Um... Okay, maybe we just like destroy whatever they play like this though. Sucrus, yep. This is what I like about the Brawlers. If we go first, they're really clean, man. Hey, what's up, Legends? Welcome back to another deck guide. Before we get into today's list, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please take the time to do so now. My next objective is to reach 10,000 subscribers, and I'd really appreciate your help and support in achieving that goal. For today, we've put together a Syndicate Line Pockets list using Crime Cards. So with this leader, we get to gain one coin and we have six charges. Whenever we play a crime card, we're also gaining one coin. So that's a way we're going to be consistently gaining profit whilst playing out this deck. And with this leader, I just kind of like to save all of it, the majority of it, for Savola in particular. Because we do need a certain amount of cards to activate Savola's tribute. Bear in mind, outside of Savola, you could also use... A few coin charges to work with Sir Skewer Tooth's tribute as well. Stratagem that we're utilizing is Crystal Skull. We get to boost an allied unit by four, give it fail. I have Crystal Skull in this deck for the Bare Knuckle Brawlers. When we go first, you can play the Bare Knuckle Brawler out, place it onto that card. Additionally, sometimes if you want to, opening up into round one, having Crystal Skull does give Tunnel Drill a bit of protection to stick on the board and can bait out the opponent's Tall Punish. So you could consider playing Tunnel Drill round one only when we go first, that is. It is an option as well. So what I'm going to do is run you through this list bottom up, explain how best to play each card, when to play it during a match, and then we're going to discuss how to execute the strategy for this deck. So to begin with, Bare Knuckle Brawlers, we have two. We look to play these out round one together. They have the Intimidate tag. Whenever we play Crime cards, they'll be boosting themselves. Bear in mind the fear ability is that spending allows you to damage the highest power enemy unit by one. So Bare Knuckle Brawlers offer us control to shut down the opponent's units in round one. And the reason I like to play them together is because they both have Intimidate. So even though we have the same fee spending ability, we're only going to be spending with one of them. They'll both be boosting though as we look to play out a lot of crime cards. So I do like to play one round one and then we kind of thin out the other through the use of Novigrady and Justice. So bear in mind the targets for Justice are just the Bare Knuckle Brawlers. You always have to leave one of these in deck for Justice to thin out. We have Double Assault. Damage an enemy unit by 4. This value is increased. If we control 2 Salamander units, we get to deal 6 damage instead. You may wish to keep Assault when playing the Defender unit. For that reason, because they are Salamander units, the tokens, and the Defender itself. Also, outside of that though, Assault is really nice to use in combination with the Bare Knuckle Brawlers. Because what I find is like, your opponent will have 1 unit on their side of the board. And then you could damage it directly with like Payday, Assault, and then click on Bare Knuckle Brawler and just remove it off the field. So that's kind of a way to use it. I like to use these two Payday more round one for the Brawlers because of that 
direct value of damage we can get. But they'll work good with Tunnel Drill as well later and whatnot. Double Shakedown. So with our crime cards that provide profit, these are the cards I like to save for when playing Tunnel Drill because they're giving us extra coin, they're crime cards, and then Tunnel Drill can play more consistently for a lot of good value. So Shakedown gives us profit 3, boost an allied unit by 3. The, this card would come out round 2 or 3 preferably. We can use Shakedown to boost up our Defender token units. We can boost up Cleaver. We can boost up Tunnel Drill. Um, you can e even boost up the Binocle Brawlers in some cases if you wanted to play at round 1. Then we have Dip in the Ponta. We have 2 of these. They give us profit 3. Damage an enemy unit by 3. Really nice to be played with Tunnel Drill because you can damage a unit and then completely destroy it off the board with Tunnel Drill. Double Shady Vendor. So these cards have a tribute aspect to them which synergizes with King of King of Beggars, which is nice. For the most part, I like to play Shady Vendor's Melee Row for the tribute 4. They're giving us profit 2. Um, you get to create and play a Bronze 4 Provision Crime. And what we like to do is create a lot of ways to gain more coin. Those are the options we'd like to go for when we get our selection of cards that we're going to see. So anything like Dip in the Ponta, Shakedown, cards like we already have are pretty good melee row option. You can play this card out round one and in combination with Tunnel Drill. So good with Bare Knuckle Brawlers, good with Tunnel Drill. We have Casino Bouncers. This just gives our deck consistency so we can find the cards we need during the course of a match. If we don't have enough profit to activate the fee ability, this card will damage itself by one and thin out the other copy. The fee, you pay one coin and just summon the other copy out without the damage. What we want to do is play Casino Bouncers out round one early on and always ensure you have the second copy in deck at all time. Payday for some direct control. Damage an enemy by five. Gain a coin for each point of excess damage dealt. Like I said, more of a round one card I like. You could synergize it with Tunnel Drill to help pick something off too. So Skewer Tooth, this card is really good because of its immunity that it can gain. So on Tribute 2, if we pay two coins, we get to gain immunity. That means this card can't be manually targeted by anything that the opponent may play during the match. With Sir Skewtooth, we kind of like to play this card with Cleaver and Tunnel Drill together um, as a bit of a package because we look to play a lot of crime cards out when those cards are down and they all have Intimidate. This has Intimidate too. So this will be boosting itself by two whenever we play a crime card. Turns into a really nice engine in our kind of a deck. Then we've got Kurt. Kurt is more just to give us a way to purify a unit so if one of our engines gets locked or poisoned we can you know get rid of that status if the opponent has a defender purify defender do damage behind defender also has good synergy with tunnel drill because if we play this melee row we get to place a bounty on an enemy unit so the way you're going to look to use kurt would be sometimes you search for kurt sometimes you wouldn't if you want to look for extra destruction value with tunnel drill you could save kurt for that time Tunnel Drill, super strong spender. Maybe the best spender in this deck. Profit 2 when you play it. Fee 2, damage an enemy unit by 1. If you played a crime this turn, damage an enemy unit by 3 instead. So we want to set up Tunnel Drill behind Defender as soon as possible with Sir Skewer Tooth. And then start playing our crime cards out. Sir Skewer Tooth boosts, Tunnel Drill destroys very good synergy together right so round two three card or round one if you want to give it stratagem it's up to you conjurer's candle pretty standard play in most syndicate decks it's got resilience so if you play it on a round it will carry over into the next round to use it gives us five coins when we first play it down and it's just a really effective sp spender for us throughout two rounds okay fee one boost the value by one Increase the boost by this card's fee cost. Each time you pay this card's fee, increase its cost by one up to nine. We like to play Conjurer's Candle uh, first, then play Defender and use this to boost up the Defender token units. Then we have Furco in this deck. Furco gives us 
thinning and consistency. Furco is nice to be played at around one. Um, so it allows you to play a crime from your deck. I have Furco in our deck to ensure that we pull justice. So round one, as an opening play, actually after having a bare knuckle brawler down because it's got the intimidate, uh, just to get a bit more value, you have a bare knuckle brawler down and then what you can do round one is just play Furco into justice and then thin out the other brawler. So that's what that does for us. Gives us tempo, gets our engines down on the board. Round one card. We have Defender, Prophet 3, Tribute 3, Spawn 2, Scarabs in this row. The Scarabs are the Defender token units that you see here. We have Defender to give protection to Tunnel Drill, Cleaver, maybe Skewer Tooth if you don't want to pay the Tribute. Those kinds of cards, right? Can come out round two or three. Depends where you're going to push the match. Savola. Savola is really nice because Savola gives us a short round three potential after bleeding into round two and just a big point slam play. So this card gives us two coin. Tribute nine. Spawner Savola's Frightener in this row. So you can see it's a big point slam. Six plus 12. More of an end of match play. At the very end of the match, we'd commit this. And like I said, save your leader ability six coins in our leader to help activate savola for the most part but we do get a lot of coins different ways as well playing this deck out justice you can play justice from hand or like i said thin it out through the use of furco either way allows us to play a bronze dwarf or crown splitter unit from our deck if you already control a dwarf or crown splitter spawn cleaver's muscle on the allied melee row this unit here five points so don't play this until we have those units down that it states right so that's why we're either going to go furco into justice because this is a dwarf and crown splitter so we get the extra five points or you're going to have a bare knuckle brawler down then play justice okay that that kind of a line of play you're going to take uh we got heat wave allows you to banish you know an artifact you guys know me pretty standard card that i add into all of my decks because of the flexibility you can target opponent scenario cards use it as a tall punish option completely remove something cleaver has intimidate as well so when we play crime cards it's going to be boosting spawn and play shakedown this crime card here when we play this this card's intimidate values increase by one for every adjacent crown splitter <laughs> so what we want to do is Play Cleaver next to Sir Skewer Tooth, next to Tunnel Drill. Um, that kind of a play because of because of the Intimidate value, it will be boosting upwards. And yeah, great synergy with the rest of the cards in our deck. You could play Shakedown and then use those coins for spending for Tunnel Drill. Shakedown will trigger Sir Skewer Tooth Cleaver boost. Pretty nice. And this card could come out round two or round three. King of Beggars should always remain in our deck. It's basically refunding whatever tributes that we commit during a match. So we're getting extra profit back that way. It also has a spending ability. Fee 1, boost self by 1. While in deck, whenever you pay a tribute, remove a counter for each coin paid. For each remove counter, gain 1 coin back. When all the counters have been fully committed, this card thins itself out to the board to a random row. So the way we're going to look to get the counters reduced is Savola, Defender, Sir Tooth, and the Vendors, okay? And then finally, we've got a Neuromancy just to give us consistency. Echo card, we get to play this twice. That's what that means. Play any card from your deck. And Neuromancy is particularly good because it can help us get Heatwave. Um, and also the Artifact, Conjurer's Candle. So, pretty nice cards to pull into that we wouldn't be able to get through other methods, I think. So, you could use a Nero maybe round one to get you Furco into Justice, round two for those other cards I mentioned. So, now that I've run you through the list, let me explain how to execute the strategy for the deck. What we have to keep in mind that this list has a really heavy control on em um, control emphasis, but also has point slam plays, tempo plays. So, it's pretty nice balanced and you can take the match a lot of different places if we're versing a deck that's not control heavy 
I'd say just go a long round three. You know a deck that's just doing boosting and they're just focused on their strategy? Go a long round three because we've got Heat Wave, Crime Cards to Destroy, and Tunnel Drill. If you're versing a control heavy deck yourself or a deck that has a strategy you want to bleed out, you know, you can push into round two as well. So in saying that, you're going to take the match according to the kind of deck you're versing. Round one, what we want to do is play Bare Knuckle Brawler out, followed by Furco into Justice, playing the other Bare Knuckle Brawler out, have them both out on the board, and from there, play Payday, play Assault, play a few Crime Cards. You could play a Shady Vendor or two, play Casino Bouncers, and that's as far as we'd want to take it for round one. So like I said, once again, depending on if you're going to bleed round two or go for a long round three, depends on the deck. Either way, the following play we'd like to go on to from there would be to play Candle down on the board, play Defender, use the Profit to boost the Defender tokens up. From there, get Sir Skewer Tooth down. You could pay the Tribute, Tunnel Drill, Cleaver. And then at that time, we can look to use Tunnel Drill in combination with our crime cards shady vendor to really destroy the opponent's units down wipe everything off the board extremely strong removal tool this is and towards the end of the match closing up um just remember to save leader for the most part to be safe for savola and you've got heat wave to answer like scenario or a tall unit at the end of the match so hope you enjoy the following matches thank you very much for your time and support The nice cards at that time. Fender's not bad either. You come around to that. Dip in the Ponta. Nice. Not bad. So we could just open up with this. The simplest methods yield the best results. Kind of use that as a control tool it's Renfrey's gang yo what's up Z how's things my man hope you had a good stream yesterday good to see you uh back so often <laughs> yo it's good Ash hope your stream's been well <laughs> yeah so playing line pockets today um cleaver tunnel drill kind of a list Got the assault there, pretty clean. It. it would definitely be good having a last save because they have Regis Reborn. Plays for a lot of points. Oh, happy birthday, man. Hope you have a good one. Armor back to Cleaver. Yeah. I like Cleaver. He's pretty good. Pretty fun card to play out. Uh, yeah, I think Fender's Profit 2. Let's see what we get. Man's got the wares, <laughs> if you've got the coin. Destroy your units. Mm, maybe just Shakedown, I think. Yeah, he's pretty susceptible to removal, huh? Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Sup, pasta. Good to see ya. Okay, you get flitter. Can we reach that with payday? Yes, we can. I like it. So, I like to play them both out round one because they have intimidate, even though we have, you know, the same spender here. The fact that it's got intimidate. It's like, it turns it into a boosting engine. Feels pretty good. Good round one spenders. And then we got our more effective spenders later. You got like Tunnel Drill, Cleaver, Candle. But they're pretty good here. I mean, we could, could go for another as well. Could go for another vendor. How about this one? Slander. Um... Mm. 
Maybe swindle? Just hold it there. They really want to have last say, you can tell. Okay. I think we can come around to picking that off too. Yep. Man, these these bare knuckle brawlers are really good here. So that's not over profiting. It's gonna be one coin. Yep. Maybe spin down a bit. Yeah, just go all the way. Well, I want to ensure final say with heat wave. Got it. Morning from Czech Republic. Good morning to you too. <laughs> Bonjour, ça va? We got people from all around the world, baby. <laughs> that's sick, man. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Don't breathe in. <laughs> How cool, man. Uh, yeah, we didn't get to thin. I think I'm just going to drag their deck into a long round. Oh. Nice. Yeah. We have tunnel drill. I think I'm going a long round and we're going to heat wave Regis Reborn at the end. Garcane. Finland. That's sick. <laughs> Pretty much Phoenix, eh? <laughs> Even I'm from Australia. We're all from different places. Hell yeah, man. That's the way. Sub72. Yo, we're all about including everyone. There's no discrimination here. I'll make sure of it. <laughs> uh... Okay. A few cards to look for, I think. Enero will pull me Savola. That's it. Right. <laughs> Bring him in. Why not, man? Get him in here. <laughs> the cheeky guy. Share the night. Yeah. Share the night. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, they may have, like, Igni or something like that. Renfrey deck. We're gonna set up Defender. I will get Tunnel Drill down and just let that do the business, man. I'm looking to clean up. We are looking to board wipe with Tunnel Drill. Furco can pull into another crime. I'm gonna prioritize spending with Tunnel Drill over Cleaver. We can use the Shakedown... As a, as a way to get more profit for Tunnel Drill. Let us sing the song of steel. Oh, that's interesting. Fight back here. Soon you shall transform and receive the gift of life. Relate profit. I think we can leave it like that. Flitter? Yep. Should be tunnel drill first. Profit to... I think I'm going to take that sequencing line. And I'll use Candle to maybe boost the token up again. Then we'll drop down Cleaver. Next to Tunnel Drill. What are they going to do? Mm, 
here she comes. What are they gonna go for? Wow. You gonna use it now? I guess not so concerning. Um, we'll be getting f four profit. Um, yeah, I think I'm putting it here. Wow. Really? I think shakedown onto onto this. Three. This will add up in value. Anyway. I want to go about it that way. I do have Kurt Purify. But we're saving that for Savola. So I'm gonna maybe we just go over onto this now as the spender, right? Get rid of the Thrive. Probably. Spend this way. This is not bad either. Boost the token. Furco for more profit. We need profit for Zavola now. Or. Hey, what's up? Yeah, we're playing uh, Syndicate Tunnel Drill List. <laughs> True. Uh, okay. Seven. Savola. Proper two. Going here, I think. And we just keep it like that. And we heat wave Regis Reborn, right? Should be, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Kev? Good to see you, man. Yeah, um, after getting smashed yesterday by control decks, I came up with a different syndicate list. 
We got point slam. We got bleed potential, everything. Sub zeros. Alright. Oh, nice win. Nice. Sub triple six. With um, Vale, I wouldn't mind it in this kind of a situation. Yep, yeah. maybe I just fail that right off the bat in this case. I think it's a spam kind of deck, right? I don't mind playing Tunnel Drill like this because it's it's got protection. It baits out control either way. I have Cleaver later. So what do they want to do? GG. <laughs> I just versed you, right? Thanks for the match. Probably disconnect. Where? What's the... DC? That's what it means, right? <laughs> You're gonna get me up to speed with this, Phoenix. You are the sole person playing Gwent at the moment. Really? Why is that? <laughs> Where is everyone? Yeah, you play great, man. Well done. Uh, we thin first? If they get out the practitioners, man, we're just going to start cleaning up. <laughs> I'm not going to let one live. That's what I'm kind of anticipating. It's going to be some practitioner thing. Expectations. Ex... Ex... Uh... Expectators? <laughs> I'm so confused, man. <laughs> Spectators? <laughs> Expectate <laughs> Expectators. It's all good. We out here having fun, baby. <laughs> uh uh, we could have this down for a boosting engine. We're gonna be playing crimes now. I'm not really looking to use it. That hurts. Just wait. I was starting to worry. Sp Spanish. Spanish in the morning, English in the evening. <laughs> Peters, forward. Let the hunt begin. Not really sure what the opponent's looking to do. But we're way ahead on points here. Got some good plays coming up later. I'd even save that. I'd never pass. Even that's good enough. I think Tunnel Drill really intimidated them not to play their strat. They know they had no chance here. So what we do now is we push for a hard bleed. <laughs> okay. back right oh nice so Nuri is either gonna be for candle or the heat wave gonna go probably just with defender here it comes where are they placing that uh, yeah so 
biggest threat here will be is if they make it out of this round. So I think we just like we should push really hard. I could put defender melee so they can't copy. Get profit. What do I have for controls? Self heat wave. We were discussing that yesterday. I don't know. Is that still worth it? We still we still thinking about that? Oh my god. They want to copy. Self heat wave. Is it worth it? You reckon do it? What's our consensus in chat? I'm actually curious to know. What does everyone think about this? Yesterday I was discussing this on my stream. Do we do it or not? Everyone would do it. Okay. Yesterday I tried different. And it was really close. Maybe we'll, we'll do it. We'll try to experiment today. Yeah, why not? Yep, let's give it a go. Alright. Hang out now, or must I reach for my pincers? So we'd go. This will give me four profit in total. Stack here. Stages get stages. Let's go. Effective spender, really good here. Yep. Kill them. Yeah, tunnel drill would have been more effective here. I don't know if I want the brawler. It's too randomized. I don't know, we'll see. Back row for killing practitioner. Like, go into a payday, you mean? If you lose this round, pretty much, yeah. We could get paydays. Uh, we need a fair bit of profit for that, though. Let's have a look. I think if I'm clicking this, it's like not effective as an answer. It's going to be going everywhere. I don't think so. One, two, three. I'm not sure. We're just gonna get vendors now. Optimum dosage cheaters on the precipice of lethality. Range throw this, melee throw this. Profit to. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Here we go. My kingdoms will collapse. One, two, three, four, five. T-Bores. Mm, 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 mm. Not good. Not good next round. Nah, it'll be terrible for us. We have nothing anyway, as you can see. It's pretty much do or die, I think. So, we could go then. What's he on? Seven. Swindle gives us a full pouch. Pretty much. No experience required. Next time it'll be personal. 
I think Cleaver will carry with Piggy. <coughs> um, yesterday when I versed a deck like this, that freaking Yurden, man. I don't know <laughs> if it's gonna be Yurden on the end or something. Oh, they got Nero's. They probably got a Tall Punish. Sienna can be deck. <laughs> What do you, I think they have a tall punish for Cleaver if they go on a Nero like that into deck already. They have something back, back that way. We just do this now. Why not? I don't see why not. Wait, how many units we got to go? That kind of messes that though too. Yeah, here, right? Yeah. I want to see corpses. Corpses everywhere. So spender. Just short on the vendor, am I? No, we have it. Profit two. Okay. Yeah. Tribute four. We have five profit. Yeah, we're okay. Like, where should we go, vendor? Now, go, go ranged or? <laughs> the semblance that interests me. Sure, man. Take it. <laughs> oh my god. In the front row, you reckon? Yeah, maybe we go for a swindle or something like that. <laughs> That's pretty funny, eh? Okay. Destroy an allied unit artifact. Um, six. We get rid of Furco. I think they have Tall Punish. Uh, maybe Yurden. They had Yurden yesterday when I was this deck. Oh, maybe that's a smart call too. But we got Cleaver value this way too. Yeah. My duty? To stick my nose where it doesn't belong. Oh no. Yodan or Heatwave? What is it? They might. They might have something like that. Oh, it's just an informant? Oh my god. <laughs> Thank goodness. Everyone has their secrets. Everyone. Nice! <laughs> we were so screwed if we went to the next round, man. Maybe immunity will come in handy. Something that can't be touched by the opponent. Can grow, can stick. Really nice against Skellige as well. You know, the Highland Warlord stuff. This can stick in those matches. Yeah, he's sick. So skewer tooth, huh? can pay day this is a really nice tune Magni gonna boost it oh nice so we get three eight okay so I didn't get the shield <laughs> we just gonna frustrate him? Why not? <laughs> I'm gonna go unitless on you, man. 
I think it's not bad value actually, because look, double charge, payday. It's like we're playing five for seven. <laughs> they can keep boosting it. Nah? Alright. Oh, will they? <laughs> That's so funny, man. It will just get taken out, but um Okay, hold on. If I play the four, I think it will just die right away. Could go bloody good fun. I'm kind of wasting all my profit there too. Going down by six will be on nine. Um. Four. Super hard like that. I can hit from a hundred paces off. Two hundred. Combat engineer, interesting. We could just pass and keep this profit, you know. Poor coin carryover. I think it's nice. No Calvate. Combat Engineer. You gotta put Brawler away now. Then we got Justice. Yep. Mm, probably looking for Drill. Furco, that's not bad. Furco is really nice in this deck. As the consistency, sure way to get justice. There it is. They go into a long round three against us, huh? Uh, could very well be. Could also do this now. Best commodity in town, I swear it. Wow, really, man? Look at these pools I'm getting. Damage up by three bounty. Maybe. <laughs> Yo, what's up? <laughs> Afternoon. Yeah. 5 p.m. Where are you from? Belgium. Is that really worth it? Maybe they didn't want to play the other stuff, whatever they pulled into just then. Uh, so... Crap. Burko... Go this again? Try to look for a spender. Could you say? <laughs> Not getting spenders. leave it there
And slave six later. They're playing into this. No, still on seven. Go on that way. I think we'll need Kurt for the opponent's defender, possibly. Maybe just take the fin. Fancy a game of Kaviri, I don't know if they're passing or what they're doing. Fin seems good. Yeah. Still got some good stuff left. Nero will come back, and Nero will pull us tunnel drill, candle. I got the carry over too. Our hand's pretty nice though. We get some good um, point swinging stuff here. So, put justice away, Furco. Candle, see? An arrow pulls tunnel drill. Justice pulls that. Shakedown. Maybe good with Defender. Probably looking for. No, actually, I think we keep it. We're going first. He's melee, bro. Double Joust, they can have assassinations left. We get everything we need, honestly. What's everyone reckon? Heat wave? It, it definitely looks like it's going to be a heat wave value, especially that they boosted. Yeah, I think it's the heat wave, huh? We need an immediate answer there. Yeah, you guys are smart. Yeah, heat wave all day, huh? So they have no defender if they did that, or what? Could play Letho. All right. Yeah, true. Maybe the opponent uh, wants to coup there. So what if we put defender here? What's everyone reckon about that? Enslave six. Uh... Let let them waste leader on this stuff. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> you gotta think outside the box, man. It's definitely a nice counter. Yo, what's up, Wax? Oh, Amnesty's really good. Maybe they want to go assassination there? What's everyone think? They assassinate the token? I think we start doing our thing now, huh? Look out for treason, maybe. Maybe this way. Immune idiot. Um. <laughs> Just boost it to be safe. They can damage, but whatever. Maybe we're making this awkward. We have to keep in mind profit for Savola. 
Am I really going tunnel drill on this one? not enough right <laughs> it's not enough man <laughs> oh my god we haven't found out here today <laughs> we can boost again I could go furco into a shakedown But we said we want... That's like good points too. I don't know if I'm doing tunnel drill on this one actually. Maybe we just roll with Cleaver. Yeah, maybe. Um, but the thing is, he's going to be low powered. I'm just worried. You know what I'm saying? But it works for the Intimidate. Mm. The candle? Okay. Let's try. That way? Maybe we do it again that way. And we just try to get... Yeah, it was desperate. It looked like it, right? Maybe this is really messing their strat. <laughs> okay, I, I gotta be very weary of profit for Savola, friends. <laughs> Yo, they had enough. They had enough, man. That is freaking hilarious. Profit, profit. Is there a risk for treason? If I'm boosting this way. What have they used for control? Assassination 1. Oh. Furco shakedown? I don't know. Hmm. I'm worried about treason. I don't know if I want to get drill on this one, to be honest. We need 7 profit for Savola. I mean, Drill's really good when they have good units with order abilities and engines, like a lot on the board. It's a more effective spender than uh, Cleaver as well. Okay, you got through. Yeah, like it'd be nice to go there with it, but whatever. How are we doing this? What's the best play? Bounty there? Bounty... It gives us a bit more value. Not heaps. Because I don't really care about getting through there. You should confess all in due course. Isn't it? I can't wait to hear your wicked flesh sizzle. Or do we want to play crime now for this? For the boost. Not boosting that way, no. Okay. Right. Yeah, we're considering a few different things. That's a good call too, man. We kind of forgot it because we used Defender there. He has a nice treason. Hmm. There's the letho, you guys call it. Oh. Um. Yeah. 
treason. <laughs> I don't know. It is what it is, hey? Maybe just go this now, even. Can that disrupt it? That, that kind of screws with our Intimidate, though. That's why I have them stacked. Do they have Treason? You say they do. So we put Kurt there now? After Assault? Or what? Maybe they're just using it for a Tall Punisher on the end. Like Assault, Kurt. Yeah. It would be like Assault then Kurt. Yeah, there it is, yeah. My god. Okay, well at least it's out. <laughs> Yeah. At least it's out, man. They want to kill now. Three profit. No bueno. Just uh, a little bit off the cleaver. Here it comes. Here comes the balance. <laughs> nah, man. Nausicaas, I can't contend with that. Can't contend with the Nausicaas. Amnesty. <laughs> Oh, it's bribery. Nice. Let's see what they pull. Defender. Did we lose by a lot, really? What's it gonna be? Soon you shall transform and receive the gift of it's a respectable loss, eh? Not bad. <laughs> 